Hello everybody and welcome to Sin City Living. My name is Jason. I'll be bringing you today's episode. Now, most of the updates and things for the channel we're putting at the end of each video so that uh, people can skip right through it, uh, skip right to it and, and uh, hear about it or just not watch that portion at all. But a couple of things that I do want to bring up uh, real fast doing a couple of small changes to what we're doing here. Um, kind of going back to the roots, going back to the basics. And uh, what, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the strategies. And please email us any strategies you would like us to shoot videos on, even if it's ones we've already done in the past, over the past year, year and a half. I can't go through all of our videos and dredge up all of the strategies so I can remember them all. So please, please, please email them to us. And this is how I'm going to do it. Each one is going to be a series of videos. Um, I'm going to do the initial video where I will present the strategy, go over it, analyze it, talk a little bit about the strategy, some of its strengths, some of its weaknesses. And um, then I will shoot a, another video or a series of videos. It's going to be two or three videos of, uh, of how it stacks up on the statistical likelihood rolls. 15 rolls without a 7, 30 rolls without a 7, 45, and 60. How... Uh, um, how it would stack up on basically 10 to hour and a, 10 minute to hour and a half long rolls, and that will be split up into two, sometimes maybe three videos depending on how long it takes. Um, and then after that, I will shoot another video where we will do that particular strategy under some live rolls. Now the live roll strategies, those or the live roll videos, those are going to be going on the patron site for our patrons, but the other three to four videos will be on our uh, uh, regular YouTube channel. After that, I'm going to stitch all of them together, except for the live roll, but I'll stitch all the rest of them together into one long video for our, uh, our daily premiere where everyone is able to chat with each other and amongst themselves. Um, it hasn't quite gone the way I was hoping it would go, but one unexpected uh, bonus to it is that I have noticed that there's been uh, been a lot of chat going on between the fans. So I'd like to continue that, keep that going. So we'll continue doing these these uh, premiere videos so that everybody can can uh, chat with each other. And I go through the I go through the chats and uh, get ideas for videos and and stuff like that. Because while I'm doing these strategy series, I'm still going to have the other videos in between, plus crossfires and stuff like that when I can get Louie. Thank you, by the way, to West and I believe it was East Coast Crafts for the support on today's premiere. Uh, we really, really appreciate that. It's going to be uh, very helpful for us to continue growing the channel. And thank you also to everybody for the coffees. Very appreciated. Very, very appreciated. I am living on coffee right now. With all of that being said, sorry for how long it took, we're going to go ahead and jump into today's video. Welcome back, everybody, and we are now in video three of our Back to the Basics on this particular head strategy, the $200 note four and the 81 across on the remaining numbers. So now we're looking at, we, we went over the overview, then we went over the okay, the decent to good rolls, the 10, 12 minute rolls, all the way up to 35, 40 minute rolls. Now we are looking at the phenomenal rolls, 45 minutes up to an hour and a half or longer. We're looking at 45 rolls without a seven and 60 rolls without a seven. Now you may hear 60 rolls out of seven and think, well, that's not going to be that long. But the thing you need to remember, keep in mind, the world record roll is four hours, almost four and a half hours. I think it was like 427 or something like that. And it was just over 150 rolls of the dice. That means that it was roughly an hour and a half per 50 rolls. Now, the longer the roll goes, the slower it gets. Players have things pressed up and, and you've got some weirder bets, but it's a pretty good indicator of how, how the rolls go. A roll a minute, to a roll every minute and a half is pretty reasonable at most places. Where I work out, we have a really fast game, and, and uh, like the first 15 rolls could go by in seven or eight minutes. But then as the bets start getting pressed up, it can definitely slow down and slow down quite a bit. So let's look at the 45 rolls. So again, I'm starting it backwards. I'm starting at the 10 and going down. That way, the, it's a best case scenario. That way, the, the four loses after making a whole bunch of money. So, Looking at the 10, the 10 is going to roll one more time. So they're going to throw in their $5, press 
Press it up to 200, collect the 100. Now statistically, the 4 and the 10 in this set of 15 are going to roll one and a half times each. We do once for the 10, twice for the 4. Makes it kind of a worst case scenario in this instance, but it'll catch up when we hit the 60 rolls and we do 2 and 1. So it's all going to even up. And again, I'm doing this best case scenario anyway, so this, this kind of favors this strategy. So now we look at the 9. The 9 is going to roll two more times. So it's going to pay 105. And since we're in a mid-press situation, we go up to one and a quarter. And then the next time it rolls, we'll pay 200 for 25 because it pays 175 and they'll go to 200. Now we'll look at the eight. So the eight is at 150. That means it pays 175. We can even pay it 200 for a quarter because they're going up to 210. And the second time it rolls, because we're in a two and a half situation, so we'll do two and three. Uh, the second time it rolls, that pays 245. Typically, I would be, pay 250 for five, but in this case, we kind of need these fives for a little bit later. So we're at 250 right now, or two, 210 right now. We're going to go to 300, and we're going to collect the rest. So now let's look at the six. So the six, we're going to pay it 200 for 25, because again, it pays 175. We're going to go to 210, and we're going to collect. Now this time, I can go ahead and pay the 250 for five, take it to three, and now it's going to pay 350, go to four, go to 450. And the six is done. So now we move on to the five, which I believe rolls two more times. It does. It rolls two more times. So it pays 105. We go to one and a quarter, collect. Then it pays 175. We pay 200 for 25, collect. And there we go. Now we've got the four. And the four, like we said, is going to roll two more times this time. So it's going to be a down behind. They're going to throw in their 205. And down behind. And they're going to throw in their 205. And now we've completed the 45 rolls without a 7. So this is uh, anywhere between 45 minute to, or 40 minute to uh, hour roll, somewhere around there, hour, hour, 5, hour, 10. Again, depends how the table goes. And here we are. So this player started out with a $1,000 bankroll. They have one thousand. Four hundred and forty-nine dollars sitting in front of them. One thousand four hundred and forty-nine dollars sitting in front of them. But what do they have in action? Two, four, seven, nine, thirteen, fifty, fifteen, fifty-five. They have one thousand three hundred or one thousand five hundred and fifty-five dollars in action. So they started out with two hundred and eighty-six dollars in action for the shooter. They've lost their no four a few times. At this point, they may not even have the hedge anymore because these have gone up so much that they've, they, they're so far into the black that they're not gonna worry about the hedge anymore. But for consistency's sake, we keep putting it up. So just, just picture that this player actually would have a few hundred more if they, if they weren't bringing this back up after it lost, if they were instead placing it. They, they'd be winning even better. Still not really uh, even close to comparable to say a mid-press situation. But, uh, or even a, uh, um, even like an expanded iron cross, but it's still not bad, not bad at all. So they have uh, over 2,600 bucks if they were to take everything down, take it to the cashier, cash it out, go home, spend their money on their uh, wife or husband, because you always spend your money on your husband. Uh, yeah, it's doing pretty well once it hits the exceptional rolls. So, Let's take a look at the final 15 rolls. This was going to push this roll to an hour and a half or longer. Hour and a half to um, hour 45, even maybe even 200. It just depends on a variety of factors. So again, we'll start at the tail end. Let's start with the 10. So the 10 is going to roll two more times. So they throw in their 10 bucks. It's going to get paid 400. They're going to mid-press up to 300. Collect the rest. Then the next time it rolls, they don't have 15, so they're going to throw in a quarter to get paid 610, go to 500.
five and nine. The nine is going to roll two more times. Two more times. So it's going to pay 280. And they're likely going to go to 350 and collect the 130. So the next time around, they'll throw in the $10 so they can get paid 500, collect the 350, and they go to 500. V8. V8 is going to roll three more times. Three more times. It's going to pay 350. They're going to go to 450, collect the rest. 450 pays five and a quarter. They go to six, collect the rest. And then it's going to pay 700. They throw in 100, go to 900, and collect. Now, the six is only going to hit two more times. Two more times. So it's going to pay five and a quarter. It's at 450 right now. It's going to pay five and a quarter. They go to six, they collect. Then it pays 700. They throw in 100, go to nine, and collect. And now we move on to the five. And the five is going to roll two more times. So it's going to pay 280. Go to 350, collect the 130. Throw in the 10 bucks, get paid 500, collect the 350. And done. And then the four will roll one more time down behind. And there we go. We have completed a phenomenal roll. So we've got 500, 1,000, 15, $2,000, $3,000. So after an absolutely phenomenal roll, this player has in their rail in front of them $4,609. $4,609. What do they have on the table? Right here is 1,800 bucks, 2,800, 3,300, 3,505. We have 3,505. So they started with a thousand dollar bankroll. There you go. Not quite as strong as the mid press, but pretty close because they are mid pressing. They're just only mid pressing five numbers instead of six. So they're a little bit behind on that. They'd be a little bit closer if they weren't bringing back their, their no four, but were instead placing it at a certain point. Still wouldn't make as much as the mid press, but there, uh, there you go. That is the performance analysis of this strategy. Hope you guys find it interesting, illuminating, enlightening, or at least just plain fun. We will catch you guys next time. Bye now. Thank you everybody for watching today's video and as promised a little bit more detail on things that we are working on. So again we want to uh, we want to continue trying to expand the channel. We're really hoping to be add, to be able to add roulette as soon as possible and then some video kino, video slots, stuff along those lines. Um, unfortunately it ate up almost all of our cash um, paying off all of our bills during the month of January, January while we were down. And uh, now that the holidays have ended, um, YouTube's uh, payouts have dropped significantly. So uh, we're kind of treading water here uh, uh, as far as all that goes. Do have a lot of things we want to add, though. Not just those, those things, those, those additional games, and hopefully some carnival games and such, such like that, but the live streams. The biggest problem right now with the live streams is with three jobs combined between the two of us, four if I include the, the 20 to 30 hours a week I'm putting into the YouTube channel. Um, it's very, very difficult for me to have a day and time that I can commit to doing the live stream every single week because we also have our, our very young child to, to take care of. But I'm trying to figure that out. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably gonna end up being on, on Monday nights or Tuesday afternoons, or possibly both. I intend to do at least one live stream exclusively for our patrons, and then another one on the YouTube channel. So possibly both both days. Um, we also have a few other things that, that we really want to attempt to move forward on. I'm just running into to either time or skill set issues. I do want to eventually have a, a website going for us. Um, I did used to program websites a long, over a decade ago. A lot of things have changed, and I just don't have that time. Um, and uh, not a whole lot of knowledge on the current state of, of um, 
building websites, hosting site, you know, what, what sites can host and, and uh, uh, how to build up, you know, the e-commerce stuff. So if anybody has any skill sets along those lines and would like to answer some questions uh, or just help us out, shoot us an email, SinCityLivingLV at gmail.com. Um, also, I really hope to be able to start adding some, some uh, fairly ex some exclusive stuff from Sin City Living, uh, logoed shirts, hats. I'm looking to get uh, custom dice made, even custom, custom layouts made, although those would be pretty expensive. Um, but I know zero about e-commerce and drop shipping and uh, anything along those lines. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area, please email me. Uh, I, would, I would love to ask you some questions and uh, see, if, uh, see if you can answer, answer a few to help me figure out how to get that going. Um, same thing with uh, with designing our logos. You know, I, I I had the logo had some logos designed, very very small logos, unfortunately, not big enough to blow up to put on T-shirts and stuff like that. And again, I know next to nothing. Not next to I know nothing about um, logo design, graphic design, any kind of websites that could that could do it. Um, I I literally know nothing. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area, also please email me, and you're willing to ask, answer some questions, please. Email me and uh, and let me know. I uh, uh, I'll admit I don't even know where to start as far as asking some questions, but I'm sure I'll, I'll ask a few and that'll trigger a few more, so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, there's that, and and uh, of course we do hope to continue to improve our AV setup. But I am an AV moron, so also right there, if you have any skill sets or knowledge in that area please email me and, and are willing to answer some questions, please email me and, uh, and let me know. We would love the help. Uh, otherwise, again, thank you everybody for watching and we're very excited to continue bringing you our videos. Bye now.